What's up techies, this is Josh at Bain Tech, and I got my friend here, Marshall, and you might recognize us from last year at the barbecue. We are back. It was so good last year that we definitely had to come this year, and we got to convince a couple other guys to come along with us, like Root Junkie and also George from my website, bain-tech.com. He's got his own channel, Mobile Geezer, so definitely check out those guys' channels. We're doing a day one recap here at the hotel. We are whooped. It's been a long day. And tomorrow we're hopefully going to be teaming up with a few other channels like Mobile Geezer and also TK, Root Junkie, to bring you a recap video of day two. And day two is going to be pretty fun because we got a lot more uh, vendors to visit. We got a lot more activities with different uh, companies and developers. We got sessions and then also the party. So we can't miss the party. One of the biggest parts of the barbecue. Shout out to Ray because we are definitely looking forward to seeing your stuff and seeing what you have prepared for us because we missed it last year because our flights just got scheduled at the wrong time. Uh, we missed it last year, so we're definitely looking forward to this year. So look forward for that coverage as well. And we got a lot more coming for day two. So here's day one, just some of the fun stuff that we got to do. And just to get this video going as well, we're just going to kind of talk about like our favorite parts and then do some cool footage for you. So Marshall, uh, what was your, I guess, you know, top things about day one? Well, my top thing for day one was HTC. Uh, they had a truck outside, and the truck actually had a virtual reality. It's called the HTC Veer, or Vive, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, it puts you in an environment, like you're in a room, and it's just you and a whole different environment in 3D. And you, you know, front, back, side to side. It's a really good thing. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, so if you ever want to <laughs> check it out, just check out HTC's uh, new uh, virtual reality. Yeah, um, speaking of HTC, <laughs> check out my recent content if you want some fun <laughs> stuff to check out, for one. But uh, yeah, HTC, they stepped it up this year. Last year, I wasn't too impressed with their table. They had a couple of people that were just like, yeah, we're here, here's a couple M8s, and yeah, that was about it. But this year, they brought a whole dang truck trailer for this uh, virtual, virtual reality. reality thing. So really awesome that they stepped it up this year. They definitely take the prize for the best presentation for their stuff, by far. Uh, really cool stuff, and we'll hopefully get some more footage for that for you, so definitely stay tuned. Uh, something else that you thought was pretty cool today? Uh, well, we got to play with the, the two new Nexus devices. I really enjoyed yeah, that. that was cool. Uh, there was a couple of different, um, you know, people had it. And they let you just play with them. And then they had the new, uh, I call it HTC. <laughs> was it M9? I call it the iPhone 7. But. <laughs> it actually, to me, it looks like a nice device. It's pretty, it's like cold Yeah, to I, I mean, I'm not going to take away from that at all. I mean, it's... A little I, small. Uh, iPhones have a great build quality. I mean, they've got the nice metal back, nice metal body. That's what HTC has had as well. But it, it just <laughs> looks like an iPhone on the back. Actually, the... The same for the A9, it looks like a OnePlus 2 on the back. It's like at the same kind of home button, the capacitive touch home button, just like the uh, OnePlus 2, so that was kind of interesting. And then the back, you turn it around, it's just like, a, it's like yeah. an iPhone. <laughs> but, and it's small like an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is smaller. I would say, like you got the S6 here, it's probably about the same. What? Maybe a little smaller. Yeah, it's definitely smaller. Yeah, because that's like what a 5-inch screen, I think, and this is what a 5.2. Anyways, it was cool to see those devices up close and personal before, well, the 5X is released. People, you know, they started getting that uh, at their doorsteps, but it was pretty cool to be able to put my hands on the Nexus 6P. I'm so pumped to get that phone coming in really soon. I can't wait to get it. My order status is still pending, and then my buddy John Burke, he's like, check your status, because mine just changed to processing, so I check it, and sure enough, it's still pending. But I guess that's just my luck or whatever. Or it's just the color. Something that gets white. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you might get that in a second. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yeah, that's some cool stuff. Um, the vendors always are the vendors are always fun to visit and see the new stuff coming out, or just the different companies trying to promote their stuff. My favorite was Nextbit. I chose to back the Nextbit Robin, especially when they decided to give a Verizon variant. So that was really cool. I got to talk to them. I would say they take the prize for being the most uh, conversational. Like they were really into the conversation with anybody that they were talking to. So I really enjoyed that. I, I appreciate that. Like some of the companies are there right now, they're just there. They don't seem like they care at all. And that's kind of disappointing. But 
that's kind of besides the point. Uh, Next bit Robin, though, it's fun to see them. I'm really looking forward to getting their device really soon. I think they said it was February for the Verizon One GSM. Should be expecting it sometime in late January, which will be right around the corner. I mean, time flies by. Design quality. The design quality is so nice. It's it's really nice to see a company develop something that is just not like anybody else. Yeah, like colors. there's nobody else making a phone like that. There's. I mean, they're not copying off of anybody. They're not innovating off of anybody. It's theirs. And, like, if you see anything like that one, they're copying off of the Robin at that point. So that was cool. That was awesome. But, I mean, my all-time favorite part about this whole thing is just meeting people. I got to meet Rude Junkie face-to-face. -face. I got to meet TK face-to-face. -face. Well, I met him last year, but we've done a lot more stuff together throughout, like, between last year and this year. Being able to collaborate with some videos, hangouts, giveaways, things like that. Then, of course, meeting back up with Marshall, meeting George for the first time face-to-face. -face. I mean, it's that kind of stuff that I like. Got to meet my guys from Android File Host. They're the guys that host my website. So it's just cool to see that kind of stuff. I love being able to meet the people yeah, uh, that we interact with <laughs> over a screen most of the time. And yeah, we get to see and hang out. So just really cool stuff. We're looking forward to it tomorrow. Without further ado, here's some more footage about day one. Enjoy. If you're at the barbecue, hit us up. Come talk to us. We'd love to meet anybody that's at the barbecue. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below of anything that you want to see us cover. And until then, stay tech.